God damn. Well, it's not 4 a.m. Actually, it's half past five. And between this clip and the next one, before I get out of bed, um, I sleep for another two and a half hours. Boom, half past seven. Summer's burning my feet. And that's what woke me up. You know, oh, my room is a mess. And I didn't wake up on time. But I did say that this is um, 21 days of self-improvement. I did not say, listen, come and watch me just, you know, do a whole perfect routine. Watch me just be, oh yeah, be emotionally available for good things, okay? Guys, just be ready to receive blessings. Anyways, um, time for my ablutions. Like I was saying, oh, 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 over here, my eczema, you know, um, over the weekend, on Saturday to be precise, I had some mock, some cheese, and I'm making some uh, Easter hands. But I got this dupa from my friend, and um, her girlfriend made it. And you know what? It's the only thing that helps, and it's amazing. Anyways, this is the part of my morning where I tell myself, You are a bad bitch. And then definitely listening to one mostly right here. Um, just look how I lose my shoulder. Hey. I have the loosest shoulders in my family. Hey, 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 hey. You girl, fuck it up, fuck it up. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm on my way. Oh, hey. you think I'm done? I'm not done. I'm on, uh, another one, another one. Ah. Ah. One thing about me, eh? I can dance. I can dance. Okay, so I'm on my way to gym. And I was supposed to be at gym at this, like, very early and stuff. And, um, didn't make it because I overslept and oh that's my friend John um like I said we are to improve so um that's that's what I'm about to do um yeah and I forgave myself after that I just knew you know what I need to sleep earlier tonight um yeah do you see okay that's sweet girls working hard so after gym um I went to our mall, we have a new mall. Uh, I'll tell you guys where I'm from in another video. So we have a mall and everyone was telling us that we, you know, are heel bullies and shit like that. I don't give a fuck because we have a mall now. Um, and you know what? All the time we didn't have a mall, it gave us time to build character. And that is why I now am just a well-rounded entertainer because I didn't have a mall to walk around in. So, yeah. Either way, I'm just coming to the mall to come and buy some things for breakfast. Uh
Um, or I'm going to try to eat every day. You know, I said I want to incorporate eggs in my diet instead of oats because I am opting for low carbs. Um, I've been going to gym quite consistently and now I would like to see what I can do if I switch up my diet. I live with my grandparents and you know what's the great thing about that? There's, you know, like one of the benefits is that there's always some freshly planted shit in the background, uh, background backyard. Um, so I just came to come fetch a piece of spinach here. My dog has um, severe attachment issues, doesn't let me love. Um, while I was trying to pick this, he wanted to take bites of it. Can you see? Yeah, no, no, no. He's a vegan. <laughs> just kidding. He's just really a big glutton and I love him. So, mud making my mixture for my scrambled eggs. I came to pick a piece of spinach. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I just uh, have been changing up a lot of things. And this is the first time I'm actually paying attention to diet. All these months I've just been paying attention to working out and I really love it. So um, I wanted to do a 21 day shred. You know this is like a 21 day shred at the gym eating all of that incorporated and just see whoopsie how I can you know transform my body like some more. I just love the fact that now I'm able to, you know, just just stick to something that I start. Um, oh, rice milk. Yeah, like I said, my arms are not okay. I'm allergic to dairy, and um, I have to look for alternatives. And rice milk was the best one. It's the closest tasting to cow's milk. And yeah, I think it's a bit, you know, off. Can you see it's a bit sticky? Mm. I think it's sour, but I'm still alive. I'm able to do this voiceover now. Either way, um, <clears throat> I've started using a wok for everything. This is just the one my granny got it as some gift 20 years ago. It's a safe way from clicks. Um, very, very useful. Useful. I make popcorn in here, I make everything in here. Um, it's not necessarily, you know, air fryer versatile, but this is a bad bitch also. Very, very handy in my life. Anyways, so after not waking up at four this morning like I wanted to, I realized, you know what? It's okay. I'm going to improve because there's so many more things I wanted to do today that I could not. And, um... I knew it was because I did not stick to my promise of waking up early. So those three and a half hours that I was still asleep, you know, mm, yeah, they would have come in handy. But I am okay. I think that a lot of times I struggle like to forgive myself because you know it's you conditioned like I was conditioned to it. From like back in the day, you know, when you would not fulfill someone else's expectations, or they made they made you know about it, or they made me know about it, and I felt guilty for very long, and up until the point where I was like, you know what, fuck you guys. Oops, then my phone fell there, and then after that, I was like a bit spooked, um, and I don't want to record anymore, like none of my food making. So yes, um, of course another dance party before I start cleaning my room and um, I know I'm listening to Never Ever by Ciara, it's the only song I'm really passionate about, um, besides one mostly obviously. <laughs> so, um, today I am doing mostly food because uh, you know having to, people ask me about what I eat and things like that because I've been growing some thunderous thighs and i am just putting this in here because filming food takes really long and it's not my thing you know this is my first time doing it and it's it's a lot 
it's a lot big ups to everyone who have full channels who you know record themselves um making food etc etc but every day you know there's some more things that i would uh allow you all to see you know what i do so that i can get into the deeper things so this is just the admin um before i just like start speaking about you know what led me to this point of just making the certain decisions and you know wanting to be consistent and feeling so strongly about it um i've been experiencing a lot over this over these past two years as everybody else has but mentally um i experienced a break um it was one of the worst breaks i've experienced and ever since then i had to reprogram every single part of my mind body my life also like nothing is the same as it was last year in every facet of my life and a lot of it you know takes a lot of processing it takes processing and acceptance and then knowing how to move from certain points in a healthy way which you don't always learn you know in your surroundings or growing up um we always deal with endings really bitterly and I do not want to perpetuate that. Either way, this is some lunch that I'm preparing. This is cracker bread um, with some tuna and mayo and a piece of green pepper. Cayenne pepper is my shit as well. So either way, um, I have that for lunch and it's really delicious. Um, so yeah, then at the end of the day, I was not entirely satisfied with how my day went. In between, you know, the things I've not filmed, I was sitting on the site that I was accepted to work on. I do keep it. It's so damn difficult to be getting, you know, students and things. So, yeah, tomorrow I'll go on with that again. Oh, for supper, I just had last night some leftover groen boink bredie and um Really delicious. That's some chutney that my uncle made, and for dessert, a bag of pele pele spookies. Um, <laughs> call me shit. What can I say? So, yeah. Anyways, I'm really happy with what I did, and um, tomorrow we move. My room is clean, and I can sleep really tight and early. Thanks for watching.